How's it going, everybody? This is Rob of Novacast back with some more of um, released another chapter of Onision shitty book, uh, Reaper's Creek. All right, uh, chapter fifteen. Okay. Hmm. Got my Red Bull. Got everything. Okay, let's do this. The aliens haven't bothered me for years. Maybe they didn't send out a distress signal. Maybe they're afraid of me. I've been keeping myself busy with my abilities. I've learned to levitate on command. I've learned to cook food with my thoughts. I can make water funnel upward and fall just by thinking about it. I can even repair injuries. Whatever is in my my or my head, it can change the world around it in an instant. Maybe it was growing over time. Maybe the older I get, the more the aliens fear me, which is why they tried to get to me so young. I imagine I've been left alone all this time because I simply wanted to be a lot of people have been doing whatever I want them to so pretty much manipulating people that's good oh that's great uh, Julia is 18 now and we've gone all the way many times I never told her to do anything but the summer that just passed the moment I desired her she made herself available to me she called me or she calls me when I miss her, she doesn't when I'm distracted. No one argues with me anymore. No one questions me. So, here's the, here's the thing. I'm wondering if Onision thinks, like, wishes he had these powers because... I mean, this, this just c continues to explain his fucking personality when it comes to manipulating people. People just listening to what he wants them to do or at least wants them to be hell who knows he's probably if if this is the case where like now because these quote unquote powers uh people leave him alone more likely he's using his uh these quote unquote powers to enslave uh this quote unquote julia you sick, twisted bastard. Alright, let's continue after that rant. No one argues with me anymore. No one questions me. My test scores in class are always passing even when I pay absolutely no attention. Probably because you enslave the mind of the teachers telling them to give you A's. So you don't deserve any of the shit that you have. All because of these powers. It's September... A sunny day out being 14 I had just started high school David was consistently in all the same classes as me I had grown fond of him being around we had a lot of long talks he let me know all the reasons he ever did anything to distance himself from me we even hugged Throughout all the orientations today, whenever I found myself getting bored, things would suddenly turn into a typical name game. Some teachers even resorted to letting us roam the halls early to get a better feel for the school on our own. This was all I, as expected, exactly what I wanted. In my last class of the day, PE, the instructor was talking about the essentials of safety. Male student was ha with long black hair to my right raised his hand and asked the teacher, well, what if we want to hurt ourselves? The teacher looked back at the student and said, why would you want to hurt, your hurt anyone? The boy looked at me and I saw right through him. I saw his alien form. It took years, but 
they finally decided to pursue me again he didn't even he didn't get a chance to reply to the teacher's question I knew what he was going to say he was going to try to imply that I was a danger to the other students he was going to try and out me everyone gathered around him as he gasped for breath and fell over the moment he looked in my eyes it was like time froze my heart was beating so quickly I f my focus was so precise I felt like my eyes could cut the air in half that was when I decided to decided he should die moments before I severed his ability to breathe reality glowed around me the lights the skin of all the students the teachers bald head it was like I could see everything I needed and it all shined and the moment my existence demanded it I knew everything I needed to know I didn't need to hide anymore I realized nothing could hurt me that that alien underestimated me and when I was done deciding his fate when I was done soaking in the reality of my situation the numerous factors saturating the air like whispers in my ears had all spoken their peace at once a sunrise on one has ever known whoever or whatever I am I'm calling an ambulance screamed the PE teacher as the aliens head smacked to the ground repeatedly as it convulsed in the f or on the floor his skull cracking open from his violent thrashing echoed through my head when I realized the alien aliens had found me my brain instinctly sent a vibration outward so I could sense where this creature had come from his trail left a stench I could only sense in my mind thousands of miles away a ship idled this one was different than the last thinking of the one that came before over time I grew a subtle remorse for what I did to all the creatures in the initial ship it was somewhat nice to know that I wouldn't be killing an innocent bystander or families of those who came to harm me this time around I laid down slowly as the screams began the alien skin was melting away and everyone was gathered around him began to see the boy for who he really was I'm sure after a while they would notice I was now I was now passed out but I planned to be back before anyone showed concern flight out of my body is incredibly smooth like you can see the clouds blowing through the air but you don't feel a thing there's no weight no friction or any other form of resistance the speed I travel was sensitive I was taking my time getting to the ship simply because I hadn't traveled into space since the last time they visited me hurrying would imply I was worried but I knew I had plenty of time the moment I passed through the walls a field activated around the ship or the entire ship I don't think they knew I would find out what was going on so quickly they thought I was now trapped but I wasn't going to bother proving them wrong yet my curiosity consumed me the aliens on board looked around looked rough some had significantly significant scars others were old and crippled passing through multiple rooms on the ship I could hear their minds and vocal cords screaming there was a kitchen a control station bathrooms bedrooms everything you would expect on the space station 
made by humans only in black and not quite present in the same style or proportions. It was beyond obvious these creatures were not here by their own choice. My original assumption was that they were simply afraid as they had heard stories about me but seeing their bodies they appeared as prisoners these species must be one to exile anyone who is imperfect it was odd though I had seen these aliens repair exploded eyes before I had seen them heal as if it was nothing before so why were all of these rooms filled with broken creatures unless there was a monetary system in their society the healing came at a price I felt bad for them they were terrified of me and had no will to harm me as I arrived to the control se center of the ship I could see the pilots were not piloting anything at all it was as if this was all set up elsewhere one of the creatures who was not horrified by my presence approached me and tried to communicate with me with their alien language I could feel what it felt it was fear of the second ship a ship that hid behind a cloak that those on board had no idea I could detect and see right through I felt sympathy for this creature speaking to me he reminded me of a special of a special ed boy who drugged me in the bathroom also he could remove the devices the other aliens planted in my brain and to attempt stunting my abilities the invisible ship fired a beam towards the prisoner ship that penetrated the force field every everyone exploded around me my arms my legs my upper body I didn't even notice it was all gone in an instant I felt myself floating through space past the field the entity alien had generated around the now decimated prisoner ship they shot at me once more and I felt nothing they fired again I continue to advance regardless regardless these creatures were not stupid they knew they were all go all about to die it took them only seconds before they attempted to evade me but before they even began to turn the entire ship was crushed in front of my reforming eyes as my brain grew around the black rock the source of who I am and my body was restored to its full form I felt a sense of immortality the world was mine maybe one day the universe but I had been up too long time to return to class this is so fucking stupid and the writing is so fucking terrible seriously this fucking sucks this is such a really bad like freaking sci-fi fantasy yeah and honestly it just kind of again there's there's been times where Onision has proven to have some kind of god complex I mean this I, I guess in a sense this sort of proves it he wants to have all these powers he wants to you know have the ability to you know dissuade people from talking to or talking about him which he can't he wants to in pretty much convince people that his way is right which is wrong and it's just this is just fucking stupid you suck as a writer. Alright. I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. This is Rob of Novacast signing off. Have a good one. And take care. Peace.